impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody record. Right? Tell me who record I haven't broke. Colossal Boxing Talk. What's up, YouTube? This is the homie Smooth Cat with Colossal Boxing Talk, and I want to talk about De uh, Deontay Wilder's recently announced fight between him and Jason Gavron. As, as we all know, Jason Gavron is uh, a career-long journeyman. It's not to not to rip him or disrespect him at all, but he's a journeyman. And Deontay Wilder, as we know, he has a very impressive knockout. He has a 100% knockout percentage with 31 wins and 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Now, he was scheduled to fight Bermain Stavern. Stavern had an injury, so Wilder, in the meantime, is taking a... Um, uh, I, I guess you can call it a tune-up fight, but the thing is this: it's, it's it's a lot of better fighters out there who, in my opinion, Deontay Wilder could have fought. Okay, the thing is this: me, I respect all fighters because you have the the courage and the heart to get in that ring and put your life on the line, but. Me, I, I can't stand when fighters try try to di try to dismiss you with the oh you're not a professional fighter so your opinion don't mean shit. Because honestly, I, I think I think that is some of the, the the most idiotic meathead type shit I've ever heard. Just, you do not have to be a professional fighter to know to uh, to be able to study and know the ins and outs of the sport of boxing. That's like, uh, I'm going to mention this on the video too. Earlier today, Deontay Wilder, uh, he went off on Dan Raphael uh, at, about telling him to get his fat ass in the ring and uh, show what he can do with his fat ass and all of that. So the thing is this, H how are you getting mad at Dan Raphael? Because your, your manager, Al Heyman, is, is giving you guys like Jason Gaffer. Okay, and let's look at Jason Gavron for a minute. Like I say, Jason Gavron, he, he's a he's a pro. He has a lot of experience, but Jason Gavron is a journeyman. And the thing is this, Deontay Wilder, uh, very reminiscent to um, Gary Russell Jr., they whole career you, you fighting nobodies. And don't get me wrong, I'm not disrespecting Malik Scott because now I give Wilder credit for Malik Scott. I do because Malik Scott well, is is a is a he's he's a solid fighter. So I give I give him credit for his win against Malik Scott. But honestly, his his whole I mean his whole resume is built with guys who are either past their prime, guys who who, who journeymen. Cab drivers is, is people like to call them me. Like I said, I, I'll call them journeymen or the, or or the level below journeymen. The um what a cab drivers. Fucking, I'll leave you the cab drivers. But the thing is this, just like De Deontay Wilder, he 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 he's a he's a talented fighter. He is. He has uh he has sick power and. Yeah, I, I like how he sets his combinations up off of the jab. But the the thing is this, Will Wilder, I mean, in your career, when you're taking the role of least resistance, anybody can look unbeatable. Anyone can. But what determines what type of fighter you're going to be is when you step up to a guy, to a guy who, who's not there to quit, a guy who's there to win. And then and you and you beat that guy or you batter that guy by KO. Then then that says something about you. That says that that okay, this guy's for real. And this guy, he really has the potential to do this and he has the potential to do that. But but when you're fighting guys who who have damn near no chance to beat you, that that's when that's when criticism should be get should be sent your way. Because honestly, 
Deontay Wilder, for you, as talented as a fighter as you are, it's it's like I said, you could have you you could have fought Cristobal Areola. Hell, you could even you could have fought Seth Mitchell. It's plenty of other guys who are who who I'll say are, are better than Jason Gavin that you could have fought. But instead you fight Jason Gavin and and that, and now you're upset because you are getting criticism because people people are people are tired of the facade. I mean, ever, ever since you've been out, we've been hearing you're gonna be the next uh, heavy, you're gonna be the next American heavyweight champion of the world. You're gonna be dominant. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. But the thing is, at a certain point, you have to, you have to step step your competition level up because when you don't step your competition level up, that's when you get in fights. Where you, where, you, where you get in with a crafty vet, a crafty veteran like a Tony Thompson, and that's when you get in fights like that, and you get in trouble because he's take he's he's taking you taking you to places in a ring that you've never been. So so that and that's the reason there that that's like Tony Thompson. He he's made a career of upsetting guys, and Tony Thompson is another. He's he's an option. I mean, you you could have you could have fought fought him, but my thing is this: I feel like this. I feel like for a guy of your talent, you're you're you're, you're somewhat you're, you're like you trying to take the road of least resistance. I believe it's gonna hurt you in the end because honestly, um, like I say, a guy a guy of the type of talent you have, you, you, you should be fighting. You should be fighting the top top 15 guys you should not be fighting uh you, you go from one fight and fighting um a top 30 guy to the next fight you fighting a, a guy that's not even fucking ranked that's atrocious and we the boxing fans fight see it's things like this that we don't appreciate and then and then when we uh when we express our displeasure uh we get fighters who oh you don't know shit well, you don't know the business side. You don't know this. You don't know that. But the thing is this. We're not asking you about the business side of it. We're just saying if if you want us to tune in to watch you fight, give me, I mean, give, give us a reason. As fans, give us a reason to tune in and be excited about a Deontay Wilder fight. I don't know anybody outside of, Maybe your representatives, Deontay Wilder or Jason Gavin representatives, who's excited about this potential fight. And I'm sorry, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm just one of, I'm one of the, one of the purest boxing fans out there. And 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 but honestly, this fight doesn't it doesn't excite me at all. This fight honestly makes me mad because I look at I, I look at your potential and I look at at, at, at how uh, how how you're being how you're being like pushed as the next big thing but but you're fighting guys you find guys who, who um who you shouldn't be fighting at this stage in your career you're 31 pro fights in you, you should be fighting the best the best of the best you claim to be the best and you, you're supposed to be getting the heavyweight title shot so why, why aren't you fighting the top 10 guy i don't for the life of me that that's that's befuddling and, and i'm wondering I'm wondering, does this have something to do with with uh, trust issues? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's something about Deontay Wilder that that, that Heyman doesn't feel he's ready for the for the top ten guys, or, or maybe Heyman is trying to trying to dip, trying to skip Deontay Wilder around from doing the hard work and taking the easy the easy ride, as I mentioned earlier, to heavyweight championship. But like I say, those are my thoughts on this fight. Me, I'm I'm very displeased with this fight. I'm I'm not interested in this fight at all, not the least bit. But hit that like button for me on the video if you like the video. Leave comments in the comment section about if, if you're tired of seeing Wilder fighting fighting journeyman type guys, or uh, or also you guys can let me know what opponents you would like to see Deontay Wilder fight. Or I mean. If you're a Jason Gavin fan, you can leave comments in the comment section too. Hey, anybody who comments, I will get back to you. I will respond. Um, also, go over to our main page, Colossal Boxing Talk on YouTube, and hit that hit that uh, subscribe button for us, and keep showing us love and support. 
Also, go over to Facebook, hit the like button on, on our Colossal Boxing Talk page. And then you can go follow us on Twitter at ColossalCBT. This is Smoothcat, and I'm out.